Well, Mama, you are 30 weeks pregnant, and every week brings you closer and closer to meeting your baby, and that is exciting and a little nerve-wracking. I'm Bridget, and as your childbirth educator, as a birth doula, and as a mama, I want to build up your confidence in this season of pregnancy, birth, and becoming a mother. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe and click the bell so you're notified each time an empowering and educational video comes your way. Your baby this week is the size of a big head of cabbage, and as they keep growing, baby is trying to find the best position for them inside your womb. By about 30 weeks, 75% of babies are usually already head down in your womb. If your baby is not head down already, don't panic. By 37 weeks, 97% of the time, babies do turn their heads down all on their own. The important thing to understand is that babies know the space that they have within your uterus and they use that space. They're not just floating around in a water balloon. They do have limited space, tension and imbalance in the body can impact that space and mama's habits impact the position that they want to be in or can be in. I talk all about this in the Built to Birth course, which is linked down below. The most proactive thing that you can be doing at 30 weeks is balancing the body and creating as much space as possible for them to find their own best position in your body. We do that in my six week prenatal fitness program where we're specifically targeting the body to prepare it for labor and birth and creating balance and space throughout the whole body so that mama can feel good but so that baby also has optimal space to get in the best position for birth. If you haven't already started the prenatal fitness program, I do recommend starting that now, and that is linked in the description below. Now, another thing that you can do is the forward leaning inversion, and I walk you through how to do that in this video linked up in the corner of this video. You can do it one to three times daily if your baby is not head down, or if your baby is already head down, you can do it once daily, which is what I'm actually currently doing at 34 weeks pregnant. Your baby right now is using your food to build up their fat stores, which is decreasing their lanugo, the fine layer of hair that covers their body to help them regulate their temperature. They're also taking from mama's fat stores to build their brain. That's right, a healthy amount of body fat on mama contributes greatly to her baby's brain development. Making sure that you are consuming healthy fats like eggs, avocados, fish, whole dairy, and some nuts and seeds provides babies with much needed DHA and other omega-3 fatty acids that grow your baby's brain. You can also take a DHA supplement, which I've linked down below if you feel like you're unable to get those nutrients wholly through diet. Your baby in your womb is practicing sucking their thumb at this point, and this helps them prepare for breastfeeding outside of the womb. Fun fact, did you know that colostrum, which is your baby's first milk that your breasts are already producing, actually smells and tastes a lot like the amniotic fluid that baby is surrounded by right now. That's one of the reasons why babies are instinctively driven to the breast after birth, especially if mom is able to squeeze some colostrum onto her nipple. Now, while baby is practicing to breastfeed, there are some things that you can be doing to prepare for breastfeeding too. The truth is while breast milk is the best food option for a baby and breastfeeding is the natural progression from growing a human to nourishing it outside the womb, it's often very challenging for first time mamas. I have tons of free resources on YouTube for you to start educating yourself on, but I go even more in depth on breastfeeding in my online course. So I encourage you to take a look at that now or save it for later when you need it. I also highly recommend finding and connecting with an international board certified lactation consultant or a lactation specialist in your area in the next couple of weeks. Ask your midwife or your OB what lactation groups are available in your area or check out a La Leche League resource in your area as well. Having the support and resources already in your back pocket as you enter the postpartum season is going to be so empowering if you need that support. That wraps up this week for us, Mama. I'll see you next week at 31 weeks pregnant.